ancient Greeks had all sorts of superstitions about praying mantises. For one thing, they were supposed to be able to foretell the future. In fact, the name mantis itself is Greek for prophet. Even up till quite recently, mantises have been revered for what seems to be their religious devotion. They spend such a lot of their time in an attitude of prayer. Of course, we know now that the only praying these insects do is on other insects. And those front legs are, in fact, a very efficient pair of spring-loaded death traps. Everyone knows that plant-feeding insects can reproduce in prodigious numbers. Take just one grasshopper. If all its descendants were able to survive unchecked for only four years, that single grasshopper could end up with as many as 300 million great-great-grand grasshoppers. Fortunately, as we've just seen, nature has effective controls, like this little predator, to keep it all in balance. But praying mantises are fascinating little insects in their own right. It's probably their sex life that's brought them most attention. Well, those rumors about mayhem in the marriage bed are only too true. When a male praying mantis courts a female, he is risking life and limb. If he puts one foot wrong, this is what can happen. So a cautious male takes it step by step. It's movement that triggers the female's attack and she's quite likely to see him only as a potential meal. Even if he succeeds in mating with her, he's still at risk. She can easily reach round and take him from behind. So he keeps his head well down. Maybe he's thinking of England. When wedlock becomes headlock, the honeymoon's over. The female mantis's cannibalism actually has a grisly kind of logic because the male, having provided her with the means to fertilize her eggs, is now donating protein for their development. Well, some of the habits of praying mantises might seem rather gruesome to us, but perhaps we should remind ourselves that they kill only for food. And there's no doubt about their usefulness. I don't mind how many of these little animals I have in my garden. Off you go, Mantis, and make sure you do a good job.